God wants his children to stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid, guys. If you are the sons and daughters of God, stop being afraid. It's like everything that comes out, people are afraid. It's a natural thing. Yes, it's a natural human feeling to have fear, right? Jesus felt fear and sorrow, sadness, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane getting ready to be crucified. This is okay. But you will only find that there was really that isolated incident of Jesus being afraid or feeling fearful, guys. He was about his father's business. He went about it boldly. He did not, you know, barricade himself inside. You know, right now with COVID, there, there are certain uh, steps that we're taking right now. But guys, people are just, God has shown me that people are literally scared. You're watching the news, you're watching the developments that's going on, and you're afraid. You're afraid of what leaders are going to do. You're afraid of what might come down. But didn't the Bible tell us that these things are going to happen? There's a lot of people that they're trying to push back and they're afraid of the persecution that's, a, that's going to come on the body of Christ. Guys, it's already happening in other countries. There are people that's being beheaded. There are people that's being burned alive. There are people that's being mutilated. There are people in other places that's being imprisoned and tortured. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people that, hey, they don't want that. I'm not saying that's something to look forward to. It's not something I'm looking forward to or want to happen to me. And guys, not in every, not every country Will that persecution come in that way? But it will come in some way. It can come through censorship. That stuff's going on now. Okay? Depending on your country, the principality and the power is going to be a little bit different. All right? But the thing is, there's this fear that's happening. You know, there's this apocalypse fear. You hear messages, be careful. Oh, they're going to do this. Oh, they're going to do that. Oh, don't do this. Oh, don't go there. Oh, this is what they're going to do. Guys, were the children of Israel like this? Think about the children of Israel, guys. They were fearless. And that's what we have to be as his children now. They're the same God that instructed the children of Israel back then. It's the same God that speaks to us today. But there's a lot of people that's cowering and afraid because when it gets down to it, a lot of believers, they just want to go to church. They just want to hear some Bible studies, some Bible studies, some Bible scriptures, some good song, good singing, and that's it. They want to go to heaven, but they're full of fear. Guys, I'm not going to tell, going to say that there are things that when I hear it, it does not just Oh, just, it makes me like, there's more of like, I won't even say fear, but like a what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But the Holy Spirit in me makes it where I am not sitting here just thinking about stuff and barricading myself in and, and, oh my gosh, they're coming. The walking dead is coming. Fear, fear, fear. Guys, let me tell you something. <laughs> a lot of the people that you got to worry about is those that's right there in church with you. Because truth be told, they're secret agents of the devil right up in there with you. Whether you're in a physical church, home church, Zoom chat, Zoom chat the devil leaves no place uncovered. So what it's going to boil down to, guys, is your relationship. Get out the bed. Get your hands out them chips and fast sometimes, guys. Get in the scripture. Get before God. Because this is the only way that you're going to be able to withstand in these evil days. This is the only way you're going to have a peace that passes understanding. This is the only way that the power of the Holy Spirit is going to rise up in you. Because it is not by our might, it is not by our power, but by the Spirit of God. 
Only by the power of the Lord are we going to be able to stand up in the last days. Only by the power of God will we be able to focus on the work that he's given us to do. There's so many people that are not doing the work of God. They're busy watching TV. They're busy being upset. And a lot of people, when they're doing their videos and they're doing their posts or they're preaching, it's because they're full of the world. They're full of the intel from the news. So they come up and put God on it. And God wants you to keep your mouth shut. Those of you that are doing that, you may take time to pray, but how many hours are you spending watching the news and getting caught up in politics and what's going on and spending hours studying the vaccine and what they're saying about the vaccine and ah oh, my brothers and sisters did the lord not say that if we had anything deadly it shall not harm us did paul not get injected by a serpent and it did not harm him so guys i'm trying to tell you you need to stop being afraid stop driving yourself crazy listening to what's going on with the vaccine and all oh, what's going to happen and what's not going to happen and i'm not saying that we're not supposed to be you know know what's going on but there's a different there's a, this obsession that's going on with it and then people's oh this oh, you better watch out you better not shout you better not cry i'm telling you why the vaccines are coming to town and guys, I'm not here to set a platform for vaccines or anything like that. But I'm like, is God God or not? If we are buckling and shaking in our boots about everything, everything. When there's a new president, oh Lord, come on. Is God God or not? If the devil is under the feet of Jesus... If demons have to tremble at his name, then stop cowering about everything and do what God tells you to do. Guys, we've got to pray. we got to be about this work. What is it that you're supposed to be doing? And guys, make sure that you are not contaminating the things that God has given you. Whether you are a pastor and you have a church or you have a channel and you're just up there just staying it with your opinions and how you feel and what's what. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Pray for your children. Why are you praying? Pray for other people's children. Stop these selfish prayers. Pray for your family. But don't stop there. Pray for other people's family. Pray for your nation. And while you're doing it, pray for other nations where they have no type of opinions. They have no, they are just totalitarian leadership. Pray for the world. Pray for souls. Souls who are trying to figure out what's going on. Lost souls out there. They think they could come to the church, but the church is talking about the same thing the world's talking about. So where do they go? It's time to walk in Psalm 121 that we look to the hills from when comes our help. Guys, everything that's happening in this world, God has ordained. And what people try to do against God, they cannot override him and if you're with him then my brothers and sisters you must trust in him with all your heart stop leaning onto your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path it's time to buckle down in the word in prayer in worship in fasting those of you that can fast some of you you have your health conditions i suggest you speak to your doctors and see what you can do but my brothers and sisters, there are other things you can do. Pray, seek his face, go about his work. What are you supposed to be doing? What is your call? At the very least, you know that you're supposed to be telling people about Jesus Christ. At the very least, you know we share the testimony of Christ. And when you get out there, even if you're handing out tracts, you pray and say, Lord, who do I give this to? Because everybody is not going to take it. Everybody is not ready. There are people that are already damned to eternal damnation because they're already blasphemed the Holy Ghost, all of that. So he will lead you and tell you who to hand stuff to and who you can minister to while you're out. It's time to stop being fearful. 
Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. This is the word that I hear the Lord speaking today.